Like 100%, this is a murder robot. Hi, my name is Dr. Richard Hills, and you're watching my channel, Knife Skills. So today we're gonna react to Michael Reeves, I Built a Surgery Robot. Now I know what you're thinking, Dr. Mike already did a reaction video. Well, Dr. Mike, isn't a surgeon. So I think I got a couple things that I could say here. Let's go to his channel and get some first impressions. Right away, I'm like a little concerned and confused. I see on his videos here, Trigger Me Elmo, the race detecting robot. Can you even make a video like that? I'm not gonna click on it because I'm quite concerned that I will be canceled. So let's click on, I built a surgery robot. Let's see what Michael's doing. I'm skeptical. Da Vinci surgical system is the most advanced streamlined surgical experience for minimally invasive surgery available surgery in the world today. Grade. I can build that. So the Da Vinci robot is something that's actually used quite frequently throughout North America and other places in the world as well. And it's a very effective tool for difficult operations. I love though how all the Da Vinci videos have them operating on some kind of grape, which I'm not sure how that reflects to operating on real tissue, but I guess it's impressive. But I can do robotics. And let me tell you, those Da Vinci surgery robotics rat bastards are ripping hospitals off. Look at this, $2 million for one shitty robot. Yeah, the Da Vinci system is so expensive. Two million is one thing to buy the robot itself, but those disposable costs, you can see on the picture here, $2,500 per case just on the disposable instruments. And that adds up. If you're talking about a hernia repair, and I made a video not too long ago where I compared open to laparoscopic and robotic hernias. And basically the outcome for the patient is almost the same for all three approaches, but the cost of robotic surgery is dramatic. So if Michael can come up with a good surgical robot, I'm a supporter. The biggest flaw in Da Vinci's design is that it relies on these clunky, slow robotic arms for movement. Say you're operating on a patient's foot. He starts screaming out in pain. You gotta get up to his face, smack him around a little bit, make him shut up. Good fucking luck with these robotic arms. They're slow as shit and they don't have any travel distance. Instead, we're gonna mount the surgical tools to a rail system that can move anywhere on the operating table. I can see a real advantage of that, you know? The problem with the robotics is they're small incisions. You can't move around. You're just right in there. I love this idea. I can operate on the neck. I can operate on the belly. I see a potential application for this surgical robot in trauma surgery. But how are you gonna move the medical tools up and down to engage with the patient? Well, that's where the carriage utility mechanism comes into play. That's the thing that's gonna move the scalpel or the clamp or whatever up and down, which is great. There's just a small problem, slight problem. Well, I built it. I built it, which is a good thing. My original plan was, you know, just to have a thin piece of plastic with a motor attached to it that moves a plate. Easy, but then I fucking, I saw that thing. <laughs> Okay, there's no way that's gonna survive, so I gotta make it a little strong. You know, I may as well make a goal a little faster. I got a little carried away. Like, I think, Michael, you're on to something. I think, man, if only the robot was faster. It's been three more weeks, I have severe depression. But Michael, where's the surgery robot? Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, big reveal, this is the surgery robot. Massive payoff, huge, I have brain damage. Be that looks great. You know, I don't even care what it does at this point. I'm going to call my hospital administrator and say, hey, look, you know what? This kid's a genius. Let's hire him. Let's get this robot into our ORs right now. I don't need to see anything else. God, oh, please. Yeah, okay. Please don't break it. Yeah. All right, the machine's working. Now we can start to control it. But Michael, where's the controller? F you, you are the controller. I got this VR hand tracking camera off of Amazon that works super goddamn well. So you just take the hand coordinates from this, pipe them into the surgery robot, and bing, bang, boom. Michael, you're an absolute genius. I've always thought when I'm operating that like, really, I just only need to like paddle my hands around like this. I don't think using my fingers is very useful. I love, I love this idea. Just, just like paddle, let's paddle around and, and, and operate on this patient. <laughs> yes. Oh, boom. You dimension robotics, you can move my thing with just floating your hand around. Robot, go here. Ooh, robot, do surgery here. Oh no, patient bleed. We have to attach some surgical tools to the cum because otherwise it's just a big ass robot. So let's buy a scalpel on Amazon. No, that's messed up. Dang global health crisis. If only I had an alternative. If you really think about it, scalpels are just shitty, smaller knives. So why don't we just use bigger, better knives? Like, uh, hello, we already have those. Wait. I keep thinking to myself when I'm operating, I'm like, Man, like, why are the instruments so small? Like, I wish they were bigger, you know, and bulkier, and like, would like just do more stuff at once. I'm gonna stab a pineapple. Oh, fuck. Commencing the operation. <laughs> Operate on it. Surgery over here now. 
um, patient, small incision, uh, small incision. Like more power. That's what we need. The, the Da Vinci robot just is lacking the oomph, like the power to just like get through things, you know? Like this thing is gonna just get in there. But power isn't the only thing we strive for. Precision is an essential tenet of surgery <laughs> and we make no exceptions when testing for accuracy. What the fuck is that? Hey, you're ready to do some painting? No, Lily, come on, please. Yeah, that's a great reaction, Lily. I'm a little worried for you, your safety. You need to be trained. Very important. Ah! Oh shit, oh, fuck. Draw the Mona Lisa. We're gonna go for like a laparoscopic appendectomy. So if we just make a small incision above the chest here, uh, we can fuck that everywhere. A uh, little bit more difficult for some procedures. Yeah, I'm gonna need to fix that. But not fuck. You can see you still have a lot more accurate control than a lot of surgical systems. Fuck <laughs> Like I was saying, moving the patient is a lot easier with the system. Like normally you'd have to manually move them. Who be, uh, would you add this to your hospital? Do you think hospitals could adopt? Uh, seems a little dangerous. Okay, I appreciate the feedback. You're wrong. We've made our machine so intuitive that anyone can do surgery with no prior training. So you've never seen this machine before in your life? This is perfect because this study is to see if we can bring someone from zero skill level all the way up to the ability of a surgeon. Boot up right in front of, not too close, because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand out. <laughs> Could you just put your hand out above the thing? <laughs> so, higher up controls the knife position. You can move it further closer and it'll get further away from you. We're gonna make a small incision right above the ear. Oh! 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 Okay, so oh. you're doing it wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, right so in the head. Clearly, well, fuck. Oh, cut. You're clearly doing another incision to stop. Plug the hole with the knife. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Knife. Yeah, you're perfect. Now, yeah, plugging the hole with the knife actually makes sense. You don't want to pull it out. Like, if, if, if you're stabbed, like, stabbed right in there, just leave it in. Let the professionals take it out. Oh, there's, what's, what's oh, okay. there's no, it's so fine. much blood. It's, it's learning, so it's a much. learning experience. Try and retract the knife from the head. Oh, let's, no. let's just try and get it out of the... What's happening? Yeah. Oh, no. It's, yeah. So violent. Okay, good incision. So violent. Ah! If your patient's over here and you don't want them to be over there, move them over here. Do some surgery over here, move them back. I don't even know what surgery this was supposed to be. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that concludes research and development. Michael, I gotta say you're an absolute genius and I think I am ready to invest. Let's connect and we'll get you into my hospital right away. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Dr. Rich Hills and this channel is Knife Skills. I love to react to videos that you suggest. And if you have any ideas, please leave a comment down below. Once again, thank you for watching.